Compound interest is a repeated percentage change where the amount of interest you get increases every year. In this example, we've got a bank paying 2% compound interest per annum. Per annum means per year. And if you invest £4,000, how much do you have after three years? So what we don't do is we don't work out what 2% is and then multiply that by three. That would be simple interest. And with compound interest, the amount of interest increases every year. It's not the same amount. So with compound interest, in the first year, we get 2% of 4,000. But then in the second year, we've got that interest on top of our 4,000. So it's 2% of a higher amount. And then in the third year, that interest from the second year is added on as well. And we get 2% of an even higher amount. We don't have to go through the process of working out 2% adding it on working out 2% again of the new amount, adding it on, there is a quicker way. So if I've got 100%, which is what I start with, so if I've got 100% and I add on 2%, that means at the end of the year, I've got 102%. So at the end of the year, I want 102% of what I started with. And we can work out what 102% is by taking 4,000 and multiplying it by 102%. So I could write 102% here, or I could write it as a decimal, and 102% as a decimal is 1.02. So to convert a percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100. So to add on 2% in one calculation, I can multiply by 1.02. So if you grab a calculator and write 4,000 multiplied by 1.02, you can see that at the end of the first year, you've got 4,080 pounds. But then you wanna add on 2% again. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna multiply it by 1.02 for the second year, and again by 1.02 for the third year. And this can be written in a different way. If we've got a number times by itself and times by itself again, we can say that's cubed. So it's 4,000 times 1.02 cubed. So this is my calculation to work out how much I have after three years. And if I wanted to know how much I had after five years, I can just change the power to a five. 10 years change the power to a 10. So let's go back into the calculator and I'll write 4,000 times 1.02 to the power of three, and that tells me how much I've got. So I'm gonna round it to two decimal places because it's money. So it's 4,244 pounds, 83. Okay, there's a question for you to try. So you can pause the video and give it a go and then press play or carry on watching when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, a bank pays 5% compound interest per annum. You invest 5,200 pounds. How much do you have after four years? We're gonna have 100% and we're adding on 5% this time. So I want, I'm going to have 105% at the end of each year, or as a decimal, that would be 1.05. So we call that a multiplier, 1.05. So we've got 5,200 pounds. 
to work out how much we've got at the end of the year, multiply by 1.05. And then for the second year, multiply by 1.05 again. The third year, 1.05 again. And the fourth year, 1.05 again. So we're going to multiply by 1.05 to the power of 4. So 5,200 times 1.05 to the power of 4. And that is £6,320 and to two decimal places, 63. When we've got a repeated percentage change that's decreasing the value of something, we call that depreciation. Here's a question that says the value of a card depreciates by 15% a year. So the value of the car goes down by 15% a year. If the, if the car is worth £6,000 now, how much will it be worth in three years? So at the end of each year, I'm going to have 100% minus 15%. So it's going down by 15%. So... 100% take away 15%, that means I'm going to have 85% at the end of each year. And as a decimal, my multiplier, divide by 100, 0 0.85. So it's worth £6,000 at the start. So to find out what it's worth after one year, I multiply by 0 0.85. Two years multiplied by 0 0.85 and again by 0 0.85 and three years we're multiplying by 0 0.85 cubed. So this goes into the calculator. 6,000 times 0 0.85 cubed. And that's... £3,684.75. Okay, a question for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answer. The value of a card depreciates, goes down by 20% a year. If the car is worth £8,500 now, how much will it be worth in two years? So 100 take away 20 means you want 80% each year. So the multiplier is going to be 0 0.8. So it's worth £8,500 now. Multiply by 0 0.8 once to find out the value after one year and 0 0.8 again to find out the value after two years. So we've got 8,500 times 0 0.8 squared, which is 5,440. Okay, one more example. So we've got a house was bought for 250,000. In the first year, its value increased by 5%. In the second year, its value decreased by 2%. What was the house worth after two years? So again, what we can't do is take do 5% take away 2% and work out a 3% increase because we need to add on the 5% so the house will be worth a new amount before we can take off 2% of that new amount. And we're going to add on 5% first. So to add on 5%, what's the multiplier going to be? Well, if we have 100% plus 
that's 105%. And there's a decimal, that's 1.05. And for takeoff 2%, we're going to have 100% take away 2%, which is 98%. So a multiplier, divide by 100, change it to a decimal, 0 0.98. So we're going to start with 250,000. We're going to multiply by 1.05 for the first year. And then for the second year, multiply by 0 0.98. So let's grab the calculator. 250,000 times 1.05 times 0 0.98. So we've got 257,250 pounds. And a question for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go and press play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, so in the first year, a car's value decreases by 20%. So that will be how much of the value do we want after the first year? 100% take away 20%. So 80% or a multiplier of 0 0.8. So that's year one. In every other year, the car's value decreases by 12%. So 100% take away 12% is 88%. So we multiply by 0 0.88 in years two and three. The car was bought for 15,000 pounds. What's the car's value after three years? So we've got three years, the first year times by 0 0.8, the second and third year times by 0 0.88 so we've got 15,000 times 0 0.8 for the first year and times 0 0.88 in the second year and times 0 0.88 again in the third year so we'll type that into the calculator 15,000 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.88 squared, which is 9,292 and 0.8, we can call that 80 pence. And to finish up, here's two questions. So give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, a bank pays 2.4% compound interest per annum. If you invest 1,800 pounds, how much do you have after five years? So 100% plus 2.4% is 102.4% and 102.4% as a decimal is 1.024. So my multiplier I'm going to use is 1.024. So I've got 1,800 times 1.024. And for five years, so to the power of five, let's type it into the calculator. 1,800 times 1 1.024 to the power of 5. So two decimal places because it's money. So £2,026.62. Question 2. A car's value decreases 
by 25% in year one. The car's value decreases by 15% in year two and year three. At the beginning of year one, the car was worth £17,500. What is the car worth after three years? So in the first year, 100% take away 25% is 75%. So after year one, it's going to be worth 75% of its value. And 75% as a decimal is 0 0.75. In year two and three, we're going to decrease by 15%. So 100% take off 15% is 85%. So as a multiplier, 85% will be times by 0 0.85. So we're going to do this in year one times by 0 0.75 to find the value after year one. And we're going to times by 0 0.85 to find the value in year two and times 0 0.85 again to find the value in year three. So I've got 17,500 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.85 squared. So type it into the calculator. And to two decimal places again, because it's money, £9,482.81.